that I got my CO2 car blank loaded, this is the exact size of the block that we actually use in the shop. So we have to understand this model a little bit. This model has what's called components in it. So if I just use the select tool and I click on this model, it turns all blue. That means it's in a component and I can't edit it yet. So to get it so I can edit it, I have to right click on it and hit edit component. And now I can change what's happening on this model. Why it's in components is because whatever we do on one side, it'll automatically do on the other side for us. So, for example, if I hit edit component, and I draw this on this side, and I do a push-pull, you'll see it automatically do the push-pull on the back side. So it makes a mirror image of it because we want our car to be symmetric in the top view. So that kind of explains how this model works. Again, if I'm here, double click or right click, edit component. You never want to click make unique. You never want to click explode. What explode does is takes it out of the component and then the backside won't do the same thing. And what make unique does is makes it so that the backside doesn't do the same thing. Over here in the scenes tab, I have the full car. I have the half car for modeling, and this is how we model most of the time. I have a front view x-ray view, so I can see that cartridge through there. I have a top view x-ray view, so I can still see half the cartridge there. I have a bottom view, which we're going to use for doing our top view cuts. And I have an ortho printing. So this brings multiple cars in place at once. So now I have a front view that will automatically create top view that will automatically create, and a left side view that will automatically create. And that's how we work this model.